guys, it's Sam, and this is my TBR for Ribset 4. For those of you that don't know, Ribset is a readathon that was started by Miranda from Books 101. I will put her announcement video down below that you can go and check out. She describes it probably much better than I do. But it is Read Your Bookshelf a thon. And that is just you pick a spot on your bookshelf and you read over all the books as many as you can get done in that week. I participated in the third round of Ribset and really enjoyed it. It's a really great way to get a lot of books read, as there are all readathons, but for some reason this one just feels a little bit different. It's just you, get, you kind of just see the progress a little easier because a whole spot on your bookshelf gets read. Also, it's really good if you can pick a spot on your shelf where you have a mix of books that you're like kind of want to read but are not high priority, plus books that you really want to read because then it really motivates you to get to those later books and everything else. It kind of breaks everything up. It's a really good way for me to get a lot of books off of my TBR. So round four of Ribsat goes from January 16th to January 23rd. So that is Friday to Friday and you just start midnight wherever you are around the world. You start at your midnight and you end at your midnight on the 23rd. So I'm hoping to get a lot of books read during this. It is the week that I start school. I do start school on the 20th. So a lot's coming up for that. I have to do a few online orientations and things like that for that. I also have a book to finish before school starts for reading and discussion. Also, I'm filming this on Wednesday. I'm currently reading Siege and Storm from the Shadow and Bone trilogy with Kristen from Cap 89X and Sarah Jane from The Book Life. So hopefully we're able to finish the trilogy before the weekend or the beginning of the weekend. So I may actually be not quite starting Ribsat until maybe even Saturday or Sunday, depending on how quickly we read these books. We are marathoning the whole series, so hopefully we get through that and that'll be completed. But there's a possibility that my first book for Ribsat will be actually Ruin Rising. <laughs> so now I'll show you the spot on the shelf that I'll be starting with. So this is my part of the shelf that I am pulling from. Also with this, you are allowed to skip parts of a series. So for example, if I was reading Shatter Me and I just wanted to read Shatter Me and skip Unravel Me and go to the next book, I totally could do that. But that's probably not going to happen with this because I've already read Shatter Me. So anyway, I'm starting with Serafina as my very first book and then I've already read Shatter Me as I said, then going to The Darkest Minds, Snow Like Ashes, and potentially even starting the Shades of Milk and Honey series by Mary Robinette Kowal. I've had those on my shelf for a while. I would love to get to them, but I for sure am really, really hoping to finish Serafina, The Darkest Minds, and Snow Like Ashes during Ribsat. So fingers crossed. All right, guys, that is it for my TBR. Comment down below. Let me know if you are participating in Ribsat and what you plan on reading. Also, I'll be posting all of my updates on Twitter. I will be using the hashtag for Ribsat, which is hashtag Ribsat. And you can follow me on Twitter and check out all of my updates there and what I'm reading and how quickly, hopefully, that I am going. So good luck to all of you who are participating, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!